Today is May 11th, 2023. Whoever rebukes a man will afterwards find more favor than he who flatters with his tongue. So basically, telling someone the truth, and especially when you see them doing something wrong, doing something stupid, something that's hard to, to say to someone who might, who it might seem like could reject you if you say this thing is better than just, you know, encouraging someone and going on the wrong path and just saying a bunch of nice things to them to make them feel good. Telling people the truth is better than flattering them. And again, it can be hard because you are putting the relationship at risk in some ways. Someone could get upset with you if you tell them the truth. But what this proverb is saying that in the long run, if they're really a friend or, you know, a, a person who has a, a good view of the world and is humble enough to take criticism, they're going to respect you more if you tell them the truth than if you just flatter them. And honestly, if you're using flattery on someone, there's a good chance that could ruin a relationship too. Because it, it comes off as fake. There was a, a time I was working on this film project with someone, a friend of mine, and uh, things seemed to be going well, and, uh, you know, we were, I, I thought everything was great, you know, we were working well, getting a lot done, and at one point, my friend pulled me aside and took me in a room in private and he was uh, supposed to be the director and I was more of an editor and uh, you know, I, I helped write the script and there were, there were different roles for each of us. And he basically was like, man, you're just dominating this film project. You're, you're trying to control everything you're confusing the actors, you're, you know, he was telling me all these ways in which I was um, stepping out of my role and more into his, and he, you know, explained how it was, uh, you know, harmful for him and for the whole film project, and at first, it caught me up off guard a little bit, and I felt kind of defensive, but I thought about it and realized, yeah, actually, I had been doing a lot of the stuff he was um, accusing me of doing, and I was like, yeah, you know what? You're right. And so, I tried to change my um, way of doing things for the rest of the project and it, it started going better. Um, but that's not even the point. The point isn't whether we did well or not with the, the project. Um, what stands out to me is that later on down the road, 
I respected my friend a lot more for telling me that. I wasn't mad at him. I wasn't upset that he told me this stuff. I was happy that he pointed out these ways in which I could be doing better. And it was so memorable that this is years later and it's still a, a moment that stands out to me. And so I think there's a lot of truth to this proverb that whoever rebukes a man will afterwards find more favor than he who flatters with his tongue. And I know I've had a lot of experiences where people tried to flatter me too, and it instantly makes me dislike them. Like I, I just, it feels slimy. Like, what are you trying to get out of me? You know, there's some secret motive this person has or um, just something inauthentic about it. And there's no examples that I can think of of that that really stand out. I, I just know the feeling of like uneasiness that comes when someone is trying to flatter you. And that's different than encouragement or genuine compliments or things like that. You know, if someone is doing something well, or you, you truly find a, a positive quality in someone, you should voice those things. Like, yeah, it's good to say those things you don't want to you know hide your love from someone it's this like inauthentic just saying something that you don't really mean that isn't really honest or truthful that's just meant to achieve a certain result or who knows uh, like there's a lot of reasons someone might flatter a person, but pretty much all of them are bogus made up things. It's, it's not something that actually matters to the person. So, that's all I've got for today. Peace.